All right, we are back. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us. Hope you got a little snack or something. I've said it a lot today. Boy, those Swedes can play some Counter-Strike. I'm not going to say Danes can, but let's just say that first map wasn't exactly like uh, we hoped for, at least. We predicted Inferno to be a, an IP victory but, victory, but not this huge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've got uh, MBK sitting on the sidelines, heckling us and joining us. And he actually called 16-2. Uh, yeah, and he was close. Started. He was really close for a while. I mean, it went, after 13-2, it was, he was spot on. But then, of course, the one round we're going to look at, round 17, is the one that ruined NBK's prediction yeah. and started basically a kind of a, a mini run of Dignitas. We're yeah. only going to show one round because we wanted to leave all the other stuff for Tweedy to make a highlight movie because yeah. it's obviously just a, a, a nip highlight show, this first map. Yeah, but what we can see here is that the Dignitas use every single amount of money that they have in this situation. They spread around the map, they do some nading, actually not really doing any damage to the NIP team so far, but what is up with the NIP and in this one is they play kind of passive, and as, as you can see, uh, also the Dignitas lineup uses some smoke to prevent the early peaks. But because they play so passive, they end up making a late decision. You can see only 30 seconds left of the round. People still rotating from second mid. Fetish gets one and does not get traded by the guy who was behind that sandbag. And yeah, now they need to go for fast B. Siblings get the first ramp here, drops down. And there are four Dignitas players at this B bump side at this very moment. And yeah, it's just going to be one after one coming in from NIP. And yeah, for the first time, Dignitas maybe outplayed, uh, outplayed NIP. And it was maybe the only round where they actually outplayed them in this whole best of one. Yeah, yeah. And again, you know, sometimes you're feeling it and, and sometimes you're not. Right? It, it, that switch goes on and off. Obviously, they had some, some great moments of like, oh, we can hang. And, but just 13-2 puts you behind such an eight ball. What do you do in that situation? You want to get pissed around. First of all, that didn't happen either. So Dignitas was in like a very bad position. They don't get any pistol rounds. They had problems getting opening kills. They had problems doing right mid-round decisions. Actually, a lot of the things where you say, hey, this is normally one of Dignitas, uh, Dignitas' good things, just didn't work in this one. They, they lacked in a lot, of, a lot of things where you need to be on point to, to go over to the final in this very tournament. You know? yeah. So next map, Nuke. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, put yourself in your normal place, in-game leader. Obviously, Nip's very excited. They're okay. They got nothing to lose. They even got a map to throw away if they need to. But what do you say to your teammates? If I you're say Dignitas? that um, we can do better than we just did. It was a poor performance. We try to uh, to help each other out now. Communicate more. Be more on point with the aiming. Get the pistol around. Also, uh, a factor we need to talk about is they're going to start CT and, and Nuke now. Unless they do something ballsy, which would be to pick the terror side, which I don't think is going to happen. So it's going to be interesting to see, and they need the pistol round. They need to get some momentum going. Actually, I think that uh, that Nuke is, is okay for Dignitas. You know that NIP is really strong in it, but I think that if they can close down the early yard push from NIP, it should be good. Fantastic. And again, folks, got him on Twitter, Maus underscore Katie, C-A-D-I-M-O-U-Z <laughs> underscore Katie. Follow this man on Twitter. Tell him how great he's doing. You're an amazing analyst. It's great to have you with us. Uh, that being said, scoops. we are ready. Map two. Jason and Jordan, take it away. Katie and Katie and Katie and Katie. I'm not going to forget his name this time. Thank you. Thank you for that, Sir Scoots. And welcome back. And as you said, we're going to be underway with map number two on Nuke here. And we saw Nuke against you guys yesterday. It was a 16-2. Not to, you know, rub salt in the wound or anything like that. Because no. I'm, I'm American. You can so rub I'm, it all over my face if you'd like. That might happen a little bit later on. But right now, we have Dignitas and NIP. We're going to have Dignitas starting over on the CT side. And NIP over on the terrace. And right now, how important is this pistol round for Dignitas? Just morale-wise and not to mention in the game. Yeah, you said it. Morale-wise is a key thing right here. They just need it to get some momentum going. Um, NIP especially is, is pretty loose on their T side, so if they get pistol, that's something going to add to it. Well, right now, one thing I have always noticed that Force loves to go outside every single time possible. If they're going to get a little aggressive here, going to get some damage, or potentially get some damage over to Fetish, but unfortunately doesn't really connect with any shots. They're going to get down a secret, and Freiburg is waiting over towards Ram to go for that push. Looks like they're going to do an upper hit. Mm. Freiburg is set up for Flaren. And Forrest Dupree, are waiting. big player right here. Oh, gets oh, wow. taken down. They completely caught him off guard, too. He was just turning around, but we see Fifth Lane pick up another one. Forrest gets one as well as Zipnix. There's one man, though, in the heaven right now. And there's one over towards Lobby. They need to get the bomb down. It will be planted. But they know Device. They know where he is. 
And they probably know where KGB is as well. Device getting knocked down to 71 HP. Of course, looking for that kill over the side. Garrett does clean that up. And that will be NFP picking up the pistol around here. And only losing one man again. Not good for uh, Dignitas. They're probably going to want to try to get a force by here. And let's see. Well, they will pick up a couple of P250s, a couple of CCs. And, you know, we have to, we have to tell you guys what's on the line, or at least remind you guys if you're just joining us, because this, the winner of this game, if NIP do win the second map, we'll be going to the grand finals to play against potentially the winners of Virtus Pro and LGB. And adding a nice $25,000 to their pocket yeah. as, in, as a differential from third, fourth to first, second. Getting a minimum of 50000 then potentially 100000 for winning first place is a huge, a huge payday, not to mention just the the fame you get from it. You can definitely buy yourself some new shoes after that. I would, all nice yes. and pretty. I would definitely buy some new shoes with that one. And, and now we see NFP still playing it a little bit slow, a little bit safe. Forrest. Now, how did you guys deal with Forrest and his constant pressure outside? Because I think every single time he was there. We kind of just watched him kill us. That's how we dealt with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> The thing is, is you know, uh, at ESEA land, we came back from a 12-3 when we were T-side, mm -hmm. and we actually 13-2'd them to beat them on our CT. This time, however, we were not able to control their outside, and they controlled us. So if that the same thing happens to Dignitas, I think you're going to see Nip take at least nine rounds on this T-side. All right, well, now they're getting aggressive towards this upper site. Everyone has rushed in. So the forest going to be a save. Device just hopping up and down, trying to get some damage on the forest. Does actually get him down a little bit. PHB picks up a kill on the fifth flare, though. Well, unfortunately for him, actually, no, fortunately for him, sorry, he has been able to pick up that AK. And now it just looks like Dignitas are potentially trying to save that AK here. I don't really have high hopes of them being able to get this defuse, especially with them completely set up in the site. So we're looking at potentially round number two. As get right picks up a nice kill on the device. And it looks like KGB will be able to maintain control of that AK. Curious to see how Dignitas is going to choose to play the outside. If they're going to give it um, attention, if they're not going to give it attention, if they're going to snipe it, or if they're oh. not going to snipe it. Boris loses out on his gun right there. Dupree picks up that one with the CZ. And the rest of NIP is going to back away and give that one up and not get the kill. But either way, a couple of kills coming in. Makes it a little bit expensive. So now we're coming to that third round here. And KGB still has an AK in hand. Yeah, um, was it? Who's the sniper on Dignitas most of the time? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is actually Zipnix. Because I, I, be I, I want to see if they're going to snipe outside or not. Because the thing that Nymph does well is they control that outside, and they really like to pull the CT rotations before they hit a bomb site. So pay attention to how Dignitas rotates as the half progresses. They did throw some nades out there. They got fifth line down to 87. Get right picks up a kill over onto Fetish. I believe those towards ramp here, but KG picks up one. And for exist does return the kill back onto him though. Looks like they're going to smoke off that CT side and push towards this ramp area. So only Dupree with 16 HP. Is a mixing device, but unfortunately no gun right now. And looks like they're going to get that, that ramp hit definitely coming in. And Dang Toss. Looking for another kill. They've gotten one man down, but it looks like IP is going to carry along that gun with them. That KHB did have, and that hit will come in here in just a second. Flare rushing into the site. Looks for... Anyone there? Unfortunately, he's not going to find anyone. Just smoke off that doorway. We do see one in the window room. Is this did some very low negative come in? Can he exist down just a little bit in health? But you can see how low they are on your screens as actually Zinex picks up the kill and exists. And now, can't wait, trying to defend those guns. Another smoke coming in. As you see, the vice pick up a kill in the force. And now all of a sudden, it's a three on two here. And Dignitas might be able to come back from this. Fifth Lawrence in the back of the site. Get right on the ramp. Looking for one man They're to pick off here. They're both very low, though. They have basically no health for them. Let's get right picks up the kill on Dupree. And you see device over towards ramp. Nip is playing this smart, just using the obstacles around them to force to force the peak flipper and big kill right here. There's Fifth Lane getting it and picking yep. up the second. And then we'll be NIP sloppily picking up that third round, but we will finally see that buy coming in for Dignitas here, and this is what you're you're wondering. Are this they gonna walk outside? So we got Fetish picking up the op. So if we key into Fetish here, I'm curious to see what position he takes. Because uh, you know, this is a big thing for them. I think we're going to see Fifth Learn and Forest do some kind of outside clearing. So if they could uh, put a stop to Fetish, then it's going to it's going to be a tough time for Dignitas. All right, let's definitely see if he can pick up anything here and if he control. He's going to go for the peak for Garage. And there's going to be one man come on the side. Actually, it's smoked out here, so she won't get uh, be able to get off that clean shot. Ooh, Almost hits that close. one, though, through the smoke. And now I'm just going to back away and not even get vision onto Red here. Not really going to have much of an impact right now. Is Forrest going to be able to get through secret? And get down too lower now. 
like I said, this is what MIP does good. They get down secret and they, they like to see the rotations. So they're gonna probably start messing with ramp in the next 10 seconds. And uh, from there, it's gonna be based off picks. Well, you called it perfectly, Freiburg. You're pushing up device already down through here. Cage will be trying to watch the upper side for him. There's three men waiting to come in through. Look at him just getting in lower. Beautiful play. Forrest is going to come up and flank the ramp here. It's going to be very tough for Dignitas to hold it. Forrest does get... Oh, my God. It's taken down, but down. KGB and Device picks up wow, one as well. Completely big play takes by the flank out. and Device there to get those kills. I don't know how that was happening. Oh, he's damn good. That's how. And Device picks up a kill in a fry break. And now it's a two on five here. And IP not able to get straight into this lower, even though they have the backside. He just picks up a kill on Device. Now KGB spots him out. He's going to be able to pick up that one. That is now bombed down. And now he's... All by himself in a 1v1. Get right, Great get to go play down play by Cajun B that round. Real solid. He basically won that for him. I'm not quite sure how Forrest didn't get that kill. They were both falling back into him. I thought we were going to see a Forrest double kill right there. Yeah, that was so, three kills for him, too. Big round right there. N to be honest, MIP completely outplayed them that round. They, they controlled them. They had the pinch ready. But that one small play changed it. And you see that a lot in CSGO. That, you know, even though you're behind the guy... It's really hard sometimes to get the kills when someone's moving in this game compared to 1.6. You put your crosshair on them, and it's not always, it's not always a free kill. Sometimes when there's no, sometimes when there's no pressure, there seems yeah. to be the most at the same time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So looking at Fetish again here, see if he can make something happen. He has that gap on the left though. I think he's gonna get one. Oh, legged. Unfortunately, not. No, he really. didn't leg him. Uh, Through the corner. It was very close though, and right now they have game control of lower, but Dupree already there. So next even getting a little aggressive. Over Looking good for Dignitas. Hot. Smart rotations right here to control the door. Device is in a good position to get one. Hopefully the vent guy stays alive there, Dupree. Oh, oh my lord! Great kill by Forrest. This can turn things around for them if he stays. Oh my god. And Forrest picks up another with that gun. Device pushing up the bomb is going down. He's going to pick up a kill and exist. Isn't he getting more? He does spot out. Freiber gets the kill. Device in a good position around. here, maybe, to get one more. Fetish should come in with lingering. it off as well. Freiber now in the back of sight. Full flare will pick up the kill on Device. Fetish now in a 1v3 on basically a save. save. Wow, Forrest just on for them by getting that vent kill because otherwise it's going to be very tough. Oh, All get their right. Focus. Isn't going to let him save. That will be the opt down. And who knew Forrest was good with an op? Uh, I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's funny. He, he likes to whip out the op, and uh, he's got a lot of skills with pretty much every gun. Oh, sorry, I meant Deagle. Wow, I got ahead of myself. Yeah, Damn, it was a Deagle, Deagle right there, yeah. but I just decided to elaborate. Oh, yeah. He seems to be good at pointing and clicking with anything. <laughs> One of the best. Uh, but yeah, right there, if he didn't get that vent kill, all their focus was going to be on the white door down there and lower, and they probably would have taken Nip out pretty easily. So huge kill by Forrest. And with that round alone, they actually forced Zanktoss back on a save here. Yeah. No armor, and Forrest going to be able to get back up on top of Twinkie. I call it Twinkie. I call it Twinkie or Yellow as well. Thank I God. like Twinkies. See, this is why I like and Americans. they are Yellow. Yeah, this is why I like Americans, because they, they know the real names of things. <laughs> the real names. Freiburg now looking for the man into uh Maybe Twinkie we should room? start calling T-Roof Hostess. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed that Twinkies actually were stopped being made in the U.S. Aren't they back though? I'm pretty sure that was just a marketing ploy. I haven't been back in a long time, so they could be. Pretty sure it was just a marketing ploy. It's like Flappy Bird. The guy takes it off and then now you see like a million clones of it. <laughs> so, looks like it's going to be an easy kill on occasion be here. 5-1 to one for NIP. We'll see. I don't know if Dignitas has enough for an op, so we're maybe you're going to see an aggressive outside push here. I think that would be a smart play by them to try to control that outside play because as long as NIP is controlling that outside in the secret, it's very tough to beat them. Well, they have picked up a FAMAS here on that side of Cajun B. Fetish was the man to watch outside. Sitting on no money right now though with that M4. It seems like another easy game for NIP. Dintos obviously have put up a, quite a good fight. You know, the first couple of rounds they struggled, but they definitely started to win some back. And NIP, as you see Fetish going to be actually sitting in the back of Garage here looking for someone. At the same time, as you see the smokes coming in, he's not going to have any vision of this. The Great Wall of China. Or smokes, either way. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of some pun to go for that one, but I just... <laughs> I learned to just not just stop and let those go by me and not worry about that opportunity. But fifth lane, though, sit at 58 HP, and it looks like we might see a hit onto upper side Forrest. We're watching the back. Dupree does pick up a kill on the fifth layer, though. So have gotten the first other on Forrest. And they actually go straight into upper here. And he's not going to be contested at all as Exist picks up the kill on Zipnik. So they're going to have control of upper. And we're going to have Dignitas. Dignitas can retake this together. They got one low on MIP. Wow. wow. Forrest. <laughs> you don't need to play Mario if you can just do that with a gun. 
Now, completely clinching off the vents, and Dangerous is trying to play for the retake, but a three on three here. This Get Right is waiting for him. Fetch picks up one, and he actually picks up a second, but Get Right finally turns around, picks up the guy into main, and now it's a one on one device with two HP. Get Right with full. Not looking for the kill. Just like, he's knocked down to 46 HP. Flash gonna come in, and actually oh he's gonna get the kill! God. What an outplay by device. He's gonna get the defuse off Let's of this. See if he gets it. Nope. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. But so well played by him there with that flash to catch Get Right off. And either did he way, not have that? I don't believe so. I don't think he did, but gosh. No, he didn't have a kit, unfortunately. But so well played. And that has to be some sort of a morale boost for him, you know, being able to retake that when they were at least a man or two down, too. Yeah, that was tough. Force and Get Right are such playmakers. It's, it's really, you never really can really count them out until they're dead. And even then, gotta be a little scared of the ghost. And even then, <laughs> he might just haunt you. All right, right now, Dayton's gonna be going for a save yet again. We have a couple of deagles. And one thing I always like about NIP's play is that they always seem respectful. You know, they never go anything too aggressive, even if they realize the other team's on an eco. And they always respect, you know, the potential to lose out on an eco route. Yeah. All right now, KGB though gets a little bit low. Garrett picks up a kill on a fetish. Exist, fantastic shot on device. Just clear up that ramp room just a little bit here. As you see, Cage and that is gets taken down. Now Exist looking for the next on the zip next here. He's right off the side. He sees he's there. He picks it up. And Exist, that's his third of the round. And if anyone was questioning whether or not he was able to step up after giving that leadership role over to fifth player, and he's definitely put those to silence. And Forrest gonna pick up the last one. So now it's seven rounds for NIP, and you, you pretty much called this. If NIP get full control of outside, they're looking at at least nine rounds to side. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Dignitas to come back. And the thing is, is it's not like Dignitas is completely outskilled. They got skill on their side, but it's decision-making that really determines how you're going to play versus a team like NIP. Because uh, not only do they got skill, but they got a lot of experience with these type of matches where they kind of just have ice in their veins. You know, they don't really hesitate in making too many decisions. So you got to be on point. All right, now you see KGB, 80% headshot ratio, currently 5 for 6. With that has him up off. I mean, looking down towards Ramp here, looking for the pick, and NIP have, I don't think, died once to an off just yet. This can't be just waiting for that moment to shine. He's going to continue to get chipped down here, now down to 83 HP. And it looks like that Ramp hit will be coming in here in just a second. No one even working outside on the, uh, on the team of NIP. Well, they got nipped down, uh, Fiffler and down Secret already, but he's leg. Oh, okay. Did not notice that. My bad. So, you know, I forgive you. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. And. See exists when we push in a ramp, picks up, actually doesn't pick up anything, Device picks up a it's double for himself. Looking good here for Device as the smoke's completely helping them out. KGB backs him up, picks up one for himself, that's on the hands of Get Right and Fifth Laird in a 2 on 5 situation. Fetish, and he looking for Fifth Laird outside, not going to spot him. And Dupree is waiting for Fifth Laird to actually come up those vents, and he's going to come up spraying, but Dupree gets the kill. And Get Right must certainly going to go down as well, so that would be Dintas finally picking up their second round here on the CT side of Nuke. Hopefully Dignitas takes this opportunity to realize this is, uh... This is their chance to start tackling uh, NIP's money. You got Forrest with $11,000. He buys the AWP, so let's see what he's going to do here. Cajun B has an op, Forrest has an op. That's probably going to decide the round right there with this pick. So, um, Looks like we will tag along with Cajun B and see where he does go. Looks like we will be heading out of here. So this is their chance, like you're saying. They're going to to control outer. Can we actually watch you twink here for Forrest? Who it's going to be a combat. push. Forrest calls the push, he spots it, so they're probably maybe going to try something ramp here pretty soon because of that. And just as you call that, they start rotating over, they have a smoke there. Device almost all by himself at ramp, spamming through the smoke, looking for the first kill, does spot out exist, but it will get the kill, he does pick that one up, but not before getting dinked a little bit. Good, good way to fall back there. Now KGB, unfortunately going to miss a shot, Fiber going to clean now it NIP's up. NIP is going to hesitate on going lower, they know that there's a guy lower still. But they know there could be, yep, that guy's in window. And they smoke him out. So well placed by them. That's all on device to hold on to this push. Dupree just spamming through the window. Not going to catch with anyone just yet. Smoke's going to take him out of door as well. And Vice looking for the kill, but Fifth Land picks him up. Dupree picks up the kill on a Freiburg as he jumps through the window. Looking for the planner. He hit him once, but he hasn't got the kill on the bomb. Will get planted. Now it's a three on two. And just as Get Right falls to Zipnix, it's a two on two. Dupree still in window. Trying to work that in Zipnix. Forrest is going to play smart here. He's got an AWP. It's going to be tough for Dignitas to win this. Fifth Lair and is currently in Toxic right now. Double Flash is coming in for us. Does get blind up a little bit. He still has that cross. Oh. That window gets the kill. Fantastic shot on Dupree. And now Zipnix waiting for the defuse. Yeah. Does Too get much experience down. by Forrest. He knows he just needs Jeez. to hit that one shot and they're gonna and he's gonna be able to win a one-on-one -on -one worst case scenario. That shot. God, I wish I had reaction times like that. I really do. And 
for us. Definitely showing some class right now. And I, I mentioned before, you know, I, I talked to him. He's saying, yeah, I played okay yesterday, but not as good as I want to. Currently 11 and 5. He's definitely stepping up for his team right now, doing an amazing job. And with the AWP, we'll see if he can continue to do that. We're going to see a mixed pot of buys coming out of Dignitas, two Famasas, two M4s, and a Deagle here. And Dignitas had the good, right idea of pushing outside the round before, but when they got spotted by Forrest, it really threw them, really threw them off. And they lost ramp room from that and here. Again, Forrest outside looking for a pick. The fifth round. Dignitas is going to give that one up here. Exists. He's been very instrumental at taking ramp so many different times now. He'll be actually pushing that one up here. And Forrest does spot the man out. Unfortunately, he doesn't connect with the shot. And now he needs to get a work Forrest, secret. Man. Just moving swiftly. I love... He feels... You can tell he feels confident. Yeah, it just... It looks like he's just walking through a stroll in the park. He, he just never really hesitates too much. Right now he's not hesitating to get into garage as well. There's going to be one man to his left. At least spot him out. Doesn't see this is dangerous. Yet. They know that Dignitas uh, isn't peeking, so they're either all in upper or all in lower right, right now. Next. He doesn't see him. Uh, will it be the kill finally coming in as Forrest picks that one up here? And Alex is still waiting to hit ramp room. They're actually heading up. They're going to execute on upper pretty soon here. NIP gear right's going to flash through the window, and they're going to come out hot like bats out of hell. So Mix and Dupree and KGB all waiting for this. Here goes Freiburg leading the charge for his team. It's the last flash is to go. He's going to look for the first kill. Zinix picks Big it up kill. now. Zinix gets it. Check. Wow, there's a big double kill that exists. He's been so damn good in this game so far, and this map, to get the entry frags. Tough two on one here against two very experienced players. This is playing it properly, just playing very spotty. Using the hut to conceal his position. And they're gonna fight together. NIP is very tough to beat in those situations because what they're both good at is acknowledging that sometimes in those in those clutch situations you need to play spotty. You need to not play for the kill like Zist mm -hmm. was front height right there. But the second they knew that that um, Cajun was in upper and he was near the vent, they just decided to double peek. So a lot of times you'll hear a, co a communication like swarm or face or fight. Mm -hmm. Just one word that tells them, hey, we're both going to peek right now. So great, great play by NIP. Yeah, definitely showing a class and currently they're leading 9-2 to two on terrorist side of nuke here. Zinktos needs something right now. They are currently very close to being knocked out of the entire tournament. And exists again, getting a kill onto the Vice with there as well as Fetish. Beast. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's playing so damn well this game. He really is. He's a consistent player, always in uh, strat calling or not. Here comes Exist with a flash, still just waiting it out. And again, like I said before, the respect that the they're respect. giving Zinktos. Yeah. They realize they're saving, not going to rush anything. They want to secure these rounds. They want to get into the grand finals because minimum $50,000 is waiting for them. Yeah, in a situation like this, when you have numbers, there's really no reason to make. Oh! Wow, nice shot. That has to hurt. Cajun V picking up the kill and exist. The fifth Laren already pushed the secret, already waiting. Now Fiber going to get the kill on the Cajun, not let him get that gun. He's playing smart, waiting for Fifth Laren to come up the ramp here and clear it, and then they're going to flood out ramp once he's got it. Gear right's gonna start fading toward ramp with the bomb and Forrest is pinching it, so this is gonna be a beautiful pinch on lower. Looks like it's gonna be another round win for NIP. Alright, so that would take him to 10 here. And Flaren, like I said before, has been able to clear out the bottom. Dupree now looking for Forrest. Look at, actually completely gooshed up here. We'll get taken down. Now as it makes the last man standing in a one on four. He's gonna pop out through the vents. And look for at least a kill here, but Forrest is waiting off to the sides. Looking for the kill. Oh, hasn't gotten it. There it is. Gets the click. Just clicking things, you know. There was there was a word, I think, Playing that Cadian game. was saying yesterday when he was watching Forrest play on, on train, I believe it was. And he was saying, crisp. His shots. It's just like one click kill. One click kill over and over and over. And he's, yeah. he's still proving it yet again. Yeah, I mean, I think the more he gets comfortable in this game, the more you're going to see Forrest highlights. The guy's got, uh, <laughs> got a robotic right hand. He's very precise, so... Let's see here, no snipers on Dignitas as their money situation is suffering. Let's see how they decide to counter NIP's outside strength here. They got Fetish up on Catwalk, Dupree close on the right here. If they can get a couple kills, it could turn out for them. But I'm afraid that... It's, it's the first time, tough. though, that they've been able to sneak someone up here, and Dupree spotted already one man out. He's gonna get checked from... Nice! There it is. If Fetish can get one more, it'll look good. Dupree has picked up two here. Chris oh, Laren. no. Fantastic shot on a fetish. Fetish needs to get those frags right there. And now KGB is going to give his chance over towards T-Red here. Good spot out. One man exists. Just going to back away. Place one safer. They realize it's currently three on three. 
We need to start picking up these rounds. Device is still watching from heaven. <clears throat> Won't hit the shot, unfortunately. Zypax oh might God. walk in to get rights rotate here soon, and this just great shot in occasion B. It's really painful to see those shots sometimes, but Device has responded though, so now back to two on two for Claren. Sitting on 34 HP. Gonna be working through lower. And the bomb is currently down outside. I have a good feeling for Dignitas this round. I don't think Fifth really knows what he's walking into. Flash, this device has to be killed Fifth player. Now get right in a one on two, looking for the kill. Gets it on oh. Zipnix through the wall. And device, all alone in garage. Get right rushing out with 18 seconds to go. Smoke coming in, he's gonna get the bomb. Will he back out of it though? Device gets a nice right shot. There. Oh, and device. Great play by device to stay home there. Fantastic job. And <laughs> they pushed outside, they controlled it, and like you said, they are able to pick up a round off of that. Yeah, big double kill there. Who was that got it early? Was that no, Dupree? Was, I think it was or Dupree. Can, yeah, Dupree got the big double kill. So I, like I said early, uh, you know, not to toot my own horn there, but oh, the only way true. they really can control their outside is either an aggressive rifle push or to have a sniper hit their shots. And NIPs, as I call it, Great Wall of China, <laughs> really cuts off a lot of vision from you really getting a pick. So it's hard if you're, if you're not up in their face. Right now, they're looking to pick up these last two rounds. They definitely need to come into the T side. It's, it's always possible for them to do it. Fetish going to be peeking out. It gets taken out by Forrest, though. Wow. Forrest just, gonna... just showing no mercy here as he takes down Secret extremely fast. Dupree, though, on the stairs. <laughs> oh, my God. Forrest just showing absolute composure here with the mouse hand, with Freeberg taking down the lower site. Not to mention, he did get dinked off of that. As, he got uh, dinked as well. and still just tapped the guy. Get right, calls the guys down vent, so they know there's one vent, and they know there's going to be one ramp. There's Cajun B, that man over towards ramp force, going to be watching the backside for him. Firebrick spamming through the smoke. Did you just have Cajun pick up a kill, though, onto Exist. Firebrick rotating over to window. Forrest down at 10 HP, looks for the kill, gets taken out by Zipnix. Now it's a two on three. Bomb has not been planted here just yet. The Flaren looking for a kill, it's taken down from inside the site. Now it's all on Firebrick. One off your situation, looking for the first kill. He gets on a Zipnix, but he's got two more to go. And he has 40 seconds to work with here. He has one HP though. And he's waiting for that man to push through ramp. He's gonna peek through door here. He's gonna spot the guy. That gets the kill. Now it's all on Cajun B. Who gets nice the kill? Moss. I actually kind of got confused there with the trades. It looked like NIP was in a good position, but Dignitas made smart plays there by not being too scared of ramp and just kind of running out and fighting them. And, and that was with the man down from the beginning of the round. Yeah. Too well. It was actually started out as a five on three situation. So, uh, great play by Dignitas to recover. All right, well, right now, 10-4 to 4 in favor of NIP. It's the last run of the first half, and you can see on the player cams alone, NIP just look calm. They look confident, and it's honestly being shown in their scores currently. Forrest, again, with the help of McLaren, going to push outside. Yeah, almost every round, Forrest is taking this type of role. Dupree. I get some spam off. Oh, he's getting hit too. Knocked down a 70 HP off of that. Forrest still spraying through main. As I believe that was fifth layer and has gotten down through lower. Does this continue to be a nuisance over towards this ramp side? We'll see if uh, Device can get a couple of kills again here. It looks like NIP is probably going to be coming towards ramp. If Device can time his nades right, let's see what he has left. He only has a flash. This is going to be tough, actually. They're going to come out checking the right. So look for him. Probably don't only get one kill unless his teammate helps him out. Oh, device actually pushing nope. into Exist. Gets taken down, but KHB picks that one up. Saving so things all up here for them. Coming in from outside, coming in from rain. Picks up the kill. Fiber gets one as well. And there should be Bomb going down in any second now into the uh, Nip just doing a great job bearing down on those kills up there. It's really, really tough for Dignitas to come back this round. Forrest can peek into the radio, to spot Cage and be out, doesn't connect with the shot though, and plays it safe. Just backs away, not going for the kills, going for the round. And it's all to Fetish Cage to pull something back. Fetish does pick up one, now got right looking for him in the main, gets the kill. Now we'll be in his pajamas, taking 11 4 lead here in this first half of Nuke. They're, they're five rounds away from getting into the finals. I, I think, uh, you know, my money's on NIP right now. I, I don't like to count people out, but like I said, if NIP even got nine rounds, I thought they were going to win, so. All right, now you can see them on your screen. Even Heaton, yeah. who when I talked to earlier was nervous about going up against Dinitas, he looks calm. And the entire team of NIP look good as well. And you can see Dinitas right there, a little bit worried about their tournament hopes, about staying alive right now. And Yeah, I mean, Dignitas, as I said before, they got a, a lot of skilled players, but 
you know, I think the combined experience of NIP is tenfold to Dignitas in terms of competing in matches like these. So it's going to be really tough for Dignitas to come back because NIP is not going to get flustered by a couple of round losses. You know, they're going to stay composed and they're really going to keep grinding away. So Dignitas needs to do a good job of getting pistol and establishing, uh, establishing some kind of flow here. Yeah, so some momentum, something going on. And something, because they're not going to win by playing random. They're not going to win by just scrimming. Like, uh, you know, we kind of did that on Dust 2 yesterday versus NIP. We, we weren't necessarily playing random, but we kind of just, the second we got control of a catwalk or long, we just made a move as a unit, and that was working to our advantage because we were able to trade because we realized we don't feel that outskilled by NIP, even though they're the top world players. We just feel like if we could be on top of the speed of their, their play, we could we could right. match the trades with them. You're, you're forcing them to react to you guys, and you guys don't yeah, react exactly. to the way they're playing. So on a map like Nuke, it's definitely tougher because you're running into corridors versus Dust 2 where it's really wide open. Right. So I think that plays against Dignitas right now because uh, they're not feeling too confident in terms of their frags. Um, Device got some kills that half, but... You know, they're, they're really going to need to forget about everything that's happened so far and approach like this is the first half of the best of three. Yeah, that's true. And right now, I mean, <clears throat> within this best of three alone, you're seeing the, the difference that Nico made on their team uh, when they had him prior. And he was, he was a brilliant opera, brilliant all-around player. But right now, we get underway here with the second half. So Ninja Pajamas, they are now five rounds away from getting into the Grand Finals. And Danny Toss, they have a lot of work to do if they want to keep their hopes alive. And here we go. Pistron coming in. He said every single time, it's going to be a big one here. If Dintos can't pick this up, they're going to be in tough trouble. And here we go. They're looking to control on the outside. Fifth line just rushing straight in. Just taking control of the lobby. Immediately know that the Dignitas is outside. Dignitas is going to need to run quickly to make take advantage. Get right to the connector. They don't know he's there. Look for him to get a couple kills right here. So this picks up one. Uh, get right. Finally got a pick here. He gets yep. one onto his Zipnix here. And going to just Not back away. good for Dignitas. And here comes Forrest. Actually, Fetish picks up the kill onto him here. Gonna turn around and try to help out Swift Flare and has retreated from lobby. Get right now, still playing safe. Fiber gonna be watching into uh, heaven. If Fetish can kill Fifth Flare and come back to ramp, they, they have a chance at winning this, but this is really what it comes down to. Right now, it's a pre. Smart pay by Fifth Flare in to control the situation. Now he knows where they're at. See, that gives him a lead call. Now he, he knows they have to go up rafter, which Freeberg is already covering, or go lower, which Zis can rotate too easily. Oh, Zis, unfortunately, missing out on those shots right there, but he does escape with his life, and he does know exactly where Dupree is. Freiburg looking for the kill, gets taken out by Dupree. Now looking for fifth layer in here, and it's a two on three right now with Zis very low on health. The bomb hasn't gone down just yet. It's going to get planted here with 20 seconds to go, and NIP are going to play it for the retake. And Dupree pushing up into hut. Big it's kill a kill by Dupree. Layer. Fantastic shot, and that's how to save their hopes here. Fetish looking for the kill. Oh, Onto Gera gets it, but Dupree oh. kills him. It's a replica of what we saw earlier on. Now, exists with two HP going up against Dupree. He's actually going to run away from this one. The flash comes out. He blinds Pull himself, and he gets I'm around the corner. He's going it. for it. And Dupree has to push in. He has two health. He's going to come up for the backside. He gets the kill. Saves the round, and that picks up three for himself. And now takes Danny Toss here into the second round of the wow. second half. Great play by Dupree there to get aggressive on the height and look for that pick. He knew Fiffler in his ramp based on the previous alteration, altercation in the ramp room, so he knew he was coming back to hut. Really big round for Dignitas there. NIP, you see Gearwright's got the mag seven, so Dignitas has got to be careful. Maybe we can key into get right here and see what he decides to do. He can make anything happen at any given time on any given Sunday as well. And I think it's Saturday Scoot's not right looking now. at me though. It's, like it is, but I was waiting for Scoots to look at me. I guess he didn't, I guess he didn't catch on to that one. But he's been pretty good. Any given Sunday. <laughs> I can know what he's saying. I can I can read his lips. But get right with that max seven. He's looking for a big play here. And like I said before, Nintos, they have to watch out for it. And you see them respecting that. I'm not sure exactly what they're up against in terms of firepower, but if you know how damn good NIP is and the plays they can't potentially make here and get right. He wants to look outside. He's peeking towards the garage. He's trying to get the information. Fetish. We'll spot him out here, and he's gonna switch. Oh, he's switching to the Mag Seven, and he's waiting to get pushed. And it looks like the Intels are gonna, gonna fall boost. into this. I think they're gonna come boost though. If they they boost, they could get by him. Yep. And get right. It's just waiting. Is he gonna hear them? Is he gonna hear something? It looks like they're not. They will be able to get on top of him. He has to know something's up though. For how long it's taken Freebird them to get might here? Freebird might be spotting that soon. Nope. It's back 
Side boost. Here it comes. Get right. Still just waiting off to the side, waiting to make his moment. Here's if Fetish. He gets he his kill and takes the AK. It could work out. He sees him. He gets right behind him. Misses the first shot. Gets the second, though. And he has an AK just like he said. KGB's up there. He runs straight up and he oh, always gets the kill. But Device does shut him down. Now the next man's coming oh, up. What? Forrest picks it up. And he's going to have the oh, AK. Oh my, my god. god, Forrest. Ridiculous with that oh, deagle. And now Fiddler getting the kill. They save Are it on Eco. Forrest flies up the ladder, gets one on the ladder, and then one knees the guy on the floor. Again, showing not only composure, but robot-like aim there. <laughs> robot-like aim. Big Someone round. needs to check his arm. Seep is a cyborg right now because... He has the bionic arm. That is ridiculous play out of him. And he looks happy. You can see him smiling on your screen, too, realizing how big of a play he made right I there. Mean, wow. I thought I had a bionic arm. Forrest is my idol. <laughs> Even Device is saying nice shot over to him for that one. And wow. Now they're one step closer. That is not what you want if you're doing the toss. And like I said, God, if, 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 and they could have won multiple ways. Just by not checking that close left corner, I don't know how whoever that was didn't check the corner. For that was the fetish, right. I believe. But yeah, unfortunately, didn't check out on that one. And I know NIP fully gunned up. Now we have Dintas going for the full save here, but they do have two P250s. And Exist is waiting as well as Freiburg for them to just push in. Device is pushing in the hut here. Exist is right in front of him. He's going to spot him out. He has to get the kill onto him. Look for the second. He will pick that up as well. But not before getting dinked up. But Freiburg gets taken down. Get right comes in though. Gets the kill on his Zitnix. And the last man standing will get the kill on it to Extinct here. But he won't have that gun just yet. He has picked it up. He's in a 1 of 3 situation. Fifth player is going to get that one. You know, NIP, 13 rounds to 5 are close to securing their spot. Very tough right now for Dignitas. Very uh, tough to come back. I just love reading the, the names for the items the that drops. are dropped for. Yeah, Heaton, GG. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff on that one. I hope, I hope all uh, 105,000 of you are enjoying today's show. We have, obviously have another semifinal coming up next, which would be between Virtus Pro and LGB. Uh, we still have more rounds to go here. Can Dantas keep their hopes alive? And Bomb, thank you, Steel, for that one. It's actually down in spawn. And Fetish had to go back to pick that one up here, so... What does that actually say, if anything, about the team? Maybe it's just a little miscommunication, or maybe it's just them kind of being getting out of it. <sighs> yeah. Not sure. Um, it's hard to read into, obviously, but... Yeah. Definitely could be them just talking and trying to figure it out. You know, they don't have many rounds to work with. The third peeking from Secret. Looks the first kill, but Dupree comes up huge right there. Picks someone up from Self-Get right, waiting for them to cross towards Secret. But he's blocked out. Why that smoke? They're so scared to take the Secret control. They think Freeberg's there. That's what he does a lot. Uh, he's coming. You see him in vents because, and they, so they know he's rotated lower. But that's what Nip does so well from round to round is shift their setup to make you think they're doing one thing, and then you fall into the next. Big kill by Zist to even it up, and they actually have an advantage here because one of uh, Dignitas players at 28 health. Forest, Forest just great awareness there. Okay, so another not get right. Gonna now they're all going to stay pretty tight here, try not to get picked. They got the number advantage. They just need to find out where. Dignitas is going from this point, and they don't really need to fight much. Get right fighting. Just a bit. Just like you said, not you just spotted, backs just spotted, away. Spotted, backs away, exactly. Doesn't need to do much because they have to commit somewhere eventually. And Freeberg's got lower, Get Right's got under ladder. And there's 15 seconds to go and here. Forrest is upper. Well, get right. It's yep. too easy for him. That is now exactly. round 14. You can see Heaton pumped up here, realizing how close, how, how much he can taste the victory right now. And they're getting ever so closer. 14 to 5. And we will see that save come out of Dignitas. So safe to say, we will see round number 15 coming here for Ninja's Pajamas. And Dignitas going for the, the long one, going for the overtime. I just don't I don't think they have the experience to really take this back, to be honest. Um, it's it's going to be tough. You know, they're going to, they, most likely we're going to see a 15th round here for Nip. And, uh... Oh, that nade coming in. Oh, my God. The damage he just did to fetish down a 2 HP. Now, Freiber going to come in. Going to pick up one. Get right. Going to pick up another one as well. And they are just shredding through them. That nade completely tore them a new one. And just like you said, that round 15 yeah, now coming no in. no chance there with no armor. You know, they just get shredded by those AKs and M4s. And here we go. First match point of the second half. NIP 15 to Nintos 5. And we're seeing Nintos buy anything they possibly can. If they can come back from this and take it into an overtime, Will be one of the greatest comebacks in Counter Strike Global Offensive history. The chances of that will be very difficult it's, here. Yeah, the, just knowing you only you don't have any rounds to work with is a tough mentality, and you either got to go balls to the walls, or you know it's probably not going to happen. Well, at least the windows, if anything. <laughs> hey now, <laughs> I hope you caught on to the song I was referring yeah, to. Yeah, sweat drops down. Yep, it does. And right now, Dinitas sweat are sweating like crazy. As fifth line picks up the first one, picks up a Big second here. Kill. 
And the Nadine are coming in, gonna do some good damage on top of that. They're gonna back away though as they have picked up the bomb, but in a three on five situation, KGB can be the big man here though. If Tinjas can hold on, he can flank around. There is that potential. They're losing patience here though. I don't, I don't know if they truly believe in the way they're playing. Well, if anything, they need to the Bay leave right now, channel the inner San Francisco area. Bay leave. <laughs> That's that's a leak thing. Ninety percent of the people on stream have no idea. What you're I know, about. I know. But right now, Fabric looking for a kill on the KGB. Not getting it just yet. We'll secure that one here. Now it's on the hands of the pre and fetish. All oh, both by ramp force gets taken down though. And that is that potential push coming in. See for Baron peek around the corner, looking for that kill. Gets to pre down at really low health, but they clean it up. That is NIP picking NIP up the 2-0 victory. The and they have secured themselves the spot into the Grand Finals right now, where they have secured also a minimum of $50,000, where they could potentially double that into 100000 if they can beat the victor of Virtus Pro and LGB. But overall, I mean, just looking into that game for, for NIP, they look just so damn solid the entire time. Yeah, I mean, and if you notice, they didn't really deviate much from what we've seen in their previous matches. They really tried to let Dignitas do something out of the norm to try to beat them, and Dignitas wasn't able to do that. So for the most part, um, you know, even if, you know, Ver the winner of Virtus and uh, LGB watched that match, I don't think they're going to get much out of it, because Dignitas, or NIP didn't really have to do anything out of the norm. Yeah, they didn't show win. anything really special in that yeah, one. And I remember... Just, I was talking to MBK actually after uh, after yesterday when he was uh, casting. He was saying that Molotov that they used over towards Sandbag on Inferno, uh, they used in their game where they lost the fortune against Hellraisers. They were saving that actually into you know the semis or the grand finals. Dignitas was no 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 uh, sorry Titan was oh. was saving that special Molotov that they used um, to pretty much pull someone out of position and pick up a nice kill in Sandbags on B uh, on Inferno. And unfortunately for them. They didn't really advance on, and they, they couldn't really save that special tactic. But right now, that makes me wonder, does NIP have something up their sleeve that they can use coming into uh, the Grand Finals for them? Well, I think what they have up their sleeve is uh, ex extreme, <laughs> extremely good players and uh, maybe some magic tricks. Maybe Forrest pull out a bunny. Maybe he... Throw it at Neo. <laughs> maybe got that bionic man going on with the no, mechanical arm just, or something. They're just it a well-oiled machine is a term we've been using a lot this weekend. And not only well-oiled, well-greased. Maybe... Well trained, I mean. Well trained. They got some good gears there. Okay. <laughs> They're a great team, and they have many layers to their defense. You're like not just going to beat them with. And they will make you cry as you peel them back. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I actually really like that. There? But, you know, the thing is about NIP, they came into this completely different in terms of their training schedule. You think back to DreamHack Winter, they played nothing online. They pretty much just boat camped, focused, 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 trained, and they come into this, they played everything they possibly could. They pulled a Titan, yeah. and they you know, obviously won quite, quite well, and they boot camped for only five days this time, and they showed right there that everyone can really step up. Forrest doing a fantastic job, Exist, as you pointed out, really making a lot of great entry kills, and honestly, if you're yeah. any of the teams going up against them, I'd be a little bit scared. Yeah, Nip, uh, Nip, that's why I always call Nip the number one team still, because even when they lost DreamHack, I still felt like they were out playing Fnatic, and Fnatic really made some individual plays, so... Um, well, really quickly, looking what's your forward thoughts to on, these next matches. Yeah, what's, your, what's your thoughts on Virtus Pro and LGB? Well, Virtus Pro is a team with so much experience on their side that it's going to be tough for LGB if they don't win the pistols to win. Again, I talk about pistols. I think Virtus Pro, if they win the pistols, are going to take. If they win the majority of pistols, are going to take this series. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Nathan. I really appreciate. It. I hope everyone out there did as well. That's going to be it for us. And congratulations yeah, to NIP. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. Don't follow this guy. You, you, At Jay Gilberto. There you go. He doesn't. I think I'm beating you by Twitter. like 20,000 followers, though. So it's all, it's all good. I don't <laughs> <laughs> but either way, let's hover to Scoots and Cadian because they're going to break down that game. That's, yes. All right. <laughs> Back to you. Thank you so much, guys. What a phenomenal, phenomenal show. First of all, a big round of applause for Team Dignitas, guys. Come on. That's it. Show your love. Thank you so much. Now, I'm joined by a man who needs no introduction. Get right, how are you feeling right now? <clears throat> it's an amazing feeling right now, and uh, we managed to come to the second finals of the, what to say, the EMS one here, and we have been on DreamHack Winter as well, so it's just amazing, and we've worked so hard to actually come here where we are today, and there's just one step left for us. Now, I think it goes without saying that you really did that in pretty dominant fashion. I mean, to take nothing away from your opponents, was that always the plan to really go that hard? Say what? Was it always the plan to kind of just dominate, own like that? I guess so. Did you have something special to get you there? 
I cannot uh, release information that's secret. This is secret information. It's something that you're keeping in store. Now, you know that you've taken one step closer to the trophy that's behind you. How does that make you feel? Amazing. I mean, playing in front of the biggest crowd tomorrow that I've ever been playing again, with or something like that, it's, it's going to be amazing. Now, of course, we still have one more semi-final today, and that's LGB versus Virtus Pro. What's your prediction? I don't know. I'm cheering for my Swedish friends, which it's a little bad manner, mostly because it's, we're in Poland and uh, Virtus Pro is here, and they are having their home crowd and so on. But I don't know. It's, it seems like a pretty 50-50 match. And who we're playing, I don't really care, to be honest. I just want to play against who we're going to play, pretty much. <laughs> now, of course, you've got the evening before you have to play again. What's the, what are you and the guys going to do tonight? What's the plan? Eat KFC. Eat KFC. We're not sponsored by KFC, just to make that quite clear. Get right. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, and thanks for putting on such a great show. And guys, Poland, put your hands together for the semi-finalists, Ninjas in Pajamas and Get Right. Well, guys, that means only one thing. We are going to be coming back to you very, very soon with the game that a lot of people are really hyped up for right here in the Spodek Arena in Poland because this is the EMS1 Katowice final, and we're going to come up soon with Virtus Pro versus LGB. But for now, I'm going to take you over to a man who needs no introduction. The crowd is already clapping for him. Scott, over to you, buddy. Oh, 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 Sean. I don't think they're clapping for me, but I'll take it. Uh, again, dominating performance by Nip. They're going to go get some KFC. We had some KFC. Thanks to our friend Carmack, we finally got some. Beautiful stuff. Uh, and again, uh, we both knew it was going to be Nip's games to lose. Uh, I don't think either of us thought, I certainly did not, that it was going to be uh, that one-sided. No, we didn't think that it would be this one-sided. We believe that it was going to be two to zero most likely and I think that we both not only for the for the entertainment but also for the theoretical theory like that Dignity should have got more yeah like, yeah I mean quality team uh, like yeah. that, that that that's unusual not that to be really expected unusual. Um, and again Nip uh, as get right said in the interview they are now in the grand final again of another quarter of a million dollar tournament in the last four months so they've already got 50 grand in their pocket no matter what happens tomorrow um, I know he said he doesn't care who he plays and he's, he's very nervous about playing in that big stadium. I guarantee he's nervous about having to play against Virtus Pro because that is going to be a very, very hometown crowd. I think he's nervous about playing Virtus because of the home crowd, but also NIP is kind of... They don't like to play Swedish teams either, you know? Yeah. But of course, Virtus Pro looks stronger, but I know that Get Right is also a man who likes to beat the best on the biggest stage. And if you do that against Virtus Pro in Poland, then you do something huge. Yeah, and, that, and having that attitude is, is what all top competitors need. Like, you don't want easy wins. You, you want to play the best. So there's never any debate that you then become the best. You know, oh, easy bracket, oh, this, oh, that. It's like you want to you beat everybody as yeah. much as possible. And, and so far, so good. They have looked in dominating fashion. They've played this game all weekend long so far. They got one more game. Let's do a few highlights. Again, found a couple good ones for a couple of variety of reasons. So we're going to walk through. We're going to start with number, round number four. Yeah, and this round is really interesting for numerous of different reasons. Um, I would like to, to go and talk about what's happening in the outside. We talked about this early game, about the Fiflar and Ferris combination, about getting down to exit and so on. And one thing that we need to point out also, that I really need Steve to point out, is Fiflaren's weapon, his equipment in this round. He's sitting on a clock. In the first weapon round, it's not like they can't uh, they can afford a, a AK minimum a P250. You can even see the sitting on five thousand. I don't really know what the thoughts behind what were behind this move, but I hope it was miscommunication or something. But if we start the clip rolling here, you can see that their goal in this strategy is to reach the exit area, the bottom part of the right map. And um, yeah, you can see they're coming pretty quick. They force Fetish back with the orb. He thinks that they play the slow way where Ferris is coming to silo. Unfortunately, no. You can see Kajun B nading out. They have kind of a feeling that this is going to happen. K2 
Cajun B now is going to rotate towards ramp in one second because he knows that this is normally the B split. And the thing what Ferris, if we can slow down a bit, the thing that Ferris and Fiflaron does in like really soon is that they decide to do a sandwich, the burger, whatever you want to call it. They decide to go and force the, the CT players from ramp down and then they want the Freiburg, Get Right and Sis combination to crush him from, from the ramp side through lobby and the other guys from the, from the long way, from the volcano stairs, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it nearly works out. Unfortunately, I think that the round would have looked different if 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 if, uh, if, if Larry would have a weapon. He didn't, and you can see they're rotating down now. The sandwich is coming in. Good flashbangs actually from NIP. You can see that uh, device gets one, Cajun gets one. Now the sandwich is closed. Now they just need to lock one corner each. And uh, yeah, unlucky. But the thing is, I want to compliment NIP for it because the theory about this move was actually really clever. And uh, they nearly caught Dignes as off guard. Yep. So that is the, the, the theory about this. Also, you can see KGMP with a triple kill. Um, one of the only rounds where they performed like, like they should. Yeah, and, and at this point, they're like, okay, we're, we're getting on the board. Not too bad, one to three. Yeah. Unfortunately, they just really couldn't keep it going. Yeah. Next round we're going to jump into is round seven. And this one was an amazing round by device, but almost a really amazing round by device. So let's walk yeah. through that one. It was, we had Get Red nearly doing one on three. We had the incredible and smart move by device. We had a lot of good individual performances in, in this round, which we can comment on. Also, it has to be said that throughout the period of time that has gone from the first highlight to the second, NIP was dominating. They got their whole map control. They push ramp when they want. They push yard when they want. They do split A, they do split B. They rotate back to lobby. They do kind of what they want in this game, and yeah, the rotation room dignitized was clever, but they simply got out-aimed. Yep. So let's watch here. We can just start the clip slowly, and we can see. And we can see that people are spreading out. We have the default spread out as CT, Fetish again, holding yard passive, watching towards the silo area. Um, and yeah, the smokes is popping from, from NIP, and they're trading some health points throughout the different key areas of the map, but no entry kills is being done so far. Um, and yeah, the key thing is going to come in one second because you can see they, they still work a bit on yard and in any second they want to do like A split. You can see Fiflaren just trying to get some information in exit. You can see Dupree actually closing down for Fiflaren, one of the first round where they managed to do this and that was what I said would be the key. Yep. And uh, yeah, it nearly worked out for them in this round where they're going to win. You can see NIP taking over A. Dupree is the A player from Squeaky. When he gets the kill in exit, they know, they know that they need a guy in A. So fast move by NIP, clever. Now you can see that they're going to get some kills onto um, the terrorist team and Get Right is going to be one on three. I think this is a run. At least you can see that the uh, is being dropped, Sist, Get Right with one, with two, and now look at device, health points, two. He knows the position of Get Right now. Slow down if you can steal. You see this flashbang, look the timing. Straight before the pops, he goes out. Boom, Get Right turns. Nice move. Get Right was waiting so patiently for device to peek out. And when the last second came where Get Right had to turn around if he didn't want to get blind, Device is too fast at doing it in the correct second. Unfortunately, as you can see in this clip, he didn't have time for the diffuse. Yep. But still, a, a nice move. And even with a kit in his pocket, not enough time. I no. mean, literally, he had like two or three seconds. And then the last clip we're going to look at is clip 17. Uh, again, Dignitas wins that second pistol round. That's a must-win pistol yep. round for this. And then Nip says, oh, that was cool, but here we come. Yeah. Crazy stuff. The thing is, it's hard to close down an IP sometimes, no matter if they have AK, rifles. If they just have pistols, it can be difficult. And uh, yeah, as we can see in this round, they uh, are on, uh, on MX 7s and so on. And what we need to point out in this round is the importance of Get Right's position. Okay, in the beginning, they're stacking towards the A push. Not gonna happen. Get Right is in like 15 seconds. He's gonna rotate a big back to, he to heaven. He's gonna shoot a bit kind of with his pistol, at least scout with it, to try and say, hello guys, I have a pistol, come and get me. And he has the Swag 7, which he can use for later. But as you can see, when he's getting spotted out here, he's rotating down to under heaven, he gets into this corner. And the thing is, the windows is not broken, so actually he only has to focus on one angle, which is really clever. He knows that if the window gets broken, he can focus both. But so far, so good. You can see that boosting up, get right here some of this. He calls it to his mates, the rotation is coming. And after that, the device is gonna be boosted up to heaven by fetish. Fetish is rotating under heaven. You can see Sipnik slowly moving away to main area here. They prepare for this split A in this specific ground. 
Now Device is in heaven. Fetish comes under the ladder. And now Get Right is going to get him. Misses the first, unfortunately. Gets the second. And yeah, we're going to focus on Ferris now because he's the key now. Yep. Gets up the ladder. Sprays with the deagle. And look this wonderful shot which is coming. And he misses the first. And then it's going to say, boom. Sit down, Cajun. Sit down. Incredible aim by Ferris. Nice follow up by Fifth Laren. And they win the eco. Yeah, and again... Th Demoralizing, like that is totally. the one you have to. Totally. Like, you got to start putting it together, and they could not. So unfortunately, Dinitas goes home. Yeah. Twenty-two thousand dollars in their pocket. So not a bad first run. No. Under the Dinitas banner, um, Odie and crew should still be very impressed in Dogmer with their crew. Um, obviously, a lot to build on. They are they're a much better team than they showed today, without yeah, a doubt. For sure. But there can still be no doubt about Dignitas being proud of the lineup, going to the semifinals in this major. As they just picked them up like one and a half month ago. It's really good, especially when you think back at the DreamHack Invitational, where unfortunately they didn't play up to their standards. And people were like judging them a bit, saying because of the substitute with Nico and Cajun, they yep. were like, hey, was that really clever? I think they showed in this tournament what potential they have. Playing against an IP on a stage can be difficult, and unfortunately, they didn't manage the, the task today. Yep, absolutely. Well, that kind of wraps it up for our first semifinal. Obviously, like we said Nip moves forward. They're going to face the winner of Virtus Pro versus LGB, which should be a barn burner of a match. Obviously, stands are going to be packed with full of the favorite folks of Poland to, to cheer on their heroes. Three of the Golden Five are with us. Thank you again for joining us. Follow him on Twitter, mouse underscore Katie. And oh, we're going to take a break, obviously, and we'll come right back with that last semifinal, see who else makes at least 50 grand, and then tomorrow we find out who takes home 100K. Thanks for watching. See you when we get back.